Hi, and welcome to the demonstration video for the EP40 Pellet Press, one of the latest additions to the Across International line. Today we're actually going to demonstrate the use of our 15 ton pressing die that's used in the EP40. Uh, the medium that we're going to use is aluminum sulfate, as you can see here. We're going to take about 3 to 5 grams of this and we're going to place it in this die and we're going to compress it down to 10 metric tons. So, first, let me show you exactly how to assemble the die. Here, you have your base plate. This is your core die. And this is your pressing sleeve. So first thing to do, what you want to do is take the pressing sleeve, place it on the base, then you want to take your core die and place that directly in the center of the pressing sleeve. Now, this is your push rod. You're going to use the push rod to tamp down the, the core die. Now, what we will do is take anywhere between 3 to 5 grams of aluminum sulfide and place it into the pressing sleeve. Keep this off to the side, keep it safe. Now, we're going to take the, the actual pressing rod, place that down in the center, and what we want to do is actually press it down a little bit called tamping. What that's going to do is press out any extra air that we don't want in the system. Now, we bring up the compression arm, and what we're going to do we want to make sure that our pressure release valve is all the way counterclockwise and that will prevent any oil from actually being in the pressing die itself. Now we want to take the compression arm, spin that clockwise, and we want to compress the powder inside there as much as we can. Alright, that's about as far as I can get it by hand. Now, before we said we actually want to set this for 10 metric tons. So the way to do that, you're going to take your standard flathead screwdriver. You're going to move this little red arrow, and you're going to press it down. Now, you're going to raise this red needle up to 10 metric tons. Now. We're going to close the pressure release valve. It has to go fully clockwise. Give a little force to it just to make sure that she's nice and tight. Now, we want to make sure that we have our timer set. I'd say about a minute should be more than enough to get a good pellet out of this. So now we energize the system. And you press run. moment you'll actually see the black needle begin to climb.
can see we've reached 10 metric tons and we just have to wait for the timer to, to give us the alarm know when it's ready to come out Press the stop button, power to the system down, move your timer to zero. Now to release pressure, counterclockwise on the pressure relief valve. Then give it about a quarter turn just to make sure that it remains open, drain all the oil. And the compression arm goes back up. Now what we need to do is take your extraction base, you're going to take your pressing die, Remove the base from the unit, place it on top of the extraction plate, place it back into the system. Now there's one or two ways to do this. You can either turn the pump on or you can actually use the compression arm. Today we're going to use the compression arm to do this. And just very gradual pressure will move the pellet out of the pressing sleeve. Now we want to make sure that we bring this all the way down so that the knurled portion of the top touches the face of the pressing sleeve. So that way we know that the pellet's actually out. And there we go. So now, bring it back up. There we go. Compressed aluminum.